is going on everyone and welcome to cart 63 my name is ben and thank you very much for stopping by i appreciate every single one of you every week every video all the the attention that you're giving to this channel i i, I can't thank you enough um <laughs> Race season's starting to uh, to tick up, and you know how I can tell? Because my DMs are starting to blow up a little bit more, which is awesome. I, I really, I don't mind helping as many people as possible. You know, I'm not always going to have the answers. I, you know, I'm I'm nobody. <laughs> I'm not some guru in the, uh, the karting industry or karting community or anything like that. I'm just a dude in a barn who decided to make some videos. So first things first, you know, keep that in mind. If you're asking for my input, I'm, I'm no guru. So, <laughs> all right, uh, just a, a real quick and simple video for today. I thought I, I'm, we had a couple days of nice weather out here. It's actually getting kind of cold uh, back in New York. I knew, you know, it was too, too good to be true that the weather was going to stick around, but I wanted to start working on my cart and I figured uh, bring you guys along with me and we are uh, the rear axle bearing and race change today. So I just a real simple how-to of how to change a rear bearing and race, which is the uh, which goes around the bearing on clam shell style uh, rear rear bearings. The same concept. I kind of explain uh, a little bit about that. That the concept is the same um, when you're when you're doing it. So no outro today because I already filmed me changing that. I just I thought as I was doing it, I might as well do a little demonstration about how to do that. And uh, I guess we're gonna we're gonna kick to the video, but if you didn't mind hitting a like on the video, possibly subscribing to the channel, that would be amazing. And hopefully this this helps some of you. It, it's not that difficult. I know that I, I think I mentioned while while I'm doing that that there are some people who are mechanically inclined, and that's fine. You know, they, they, it's just not your forte. But simple stuff like this, I think with carting, you can do it yourself. You don't have to rely on somebody else or, you know, maybe you get a buddy to come over and help you. That's fine. Uh, but it's really not that difficult. Uh, uh, three sixteenths and quarter inch. I, I don't mention that in the uh, in the video. I'm sure of that. But that's basically a snap ring players, three sixteenths and a quarter inch Allen, and that's it. You don't have to do an impact style like I do. You can actually use a key set, that's fine. Uh, but real simple, real easy. You can change your own bearing. So we're gonna go to the video and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Later. Okay, everyone. Uh, I've got this set up as best I can. <laughs> we are going to be changing the bearings and race um, in a clamshell setup on a rear axle. Now, this is modern. Uh, I don't actually happen to have anything older. It, it, it's pretty simplistic if you want to change the bearings in an older style chassis that uh, it would just mount to the chassis. There's a, a, the cassette, if you will, and then you would stick the, the bearing in and rotate it, and voila, you know, it, it's entered the chat. Uh, as the kids say, I guess. But anyway, these are clamshell style. These split here and uh, full transparency. I've already loosened bolts because I didn't want to get onto film and uh, run into problems. Now, one uh, little trick here uh, real quick before you want, if you want to put things back where they once were, a good idea, take your marker, mark this. And uh, if you can see this, close enough, you'll see that I have a lock collar on the inside of my right rear. Now, is this necessary? <laughs> I wouldn't say for Predator, I wouldn't say for Clone, but as you guys know, I run high horsepower stuff. I run UAS. We have a lot of Gs. We have a lot of uh, horsepower, and I do not want this sliding in, getting the rim into the chassis, so I, I have a, a spare collar there. So, we're going to loosen up these bolts here. Remove the axle lock collar, like I said. I probably could have done this already, but, you know, I'm super well prepared. And we do have to remove, you're going to want to remove the end clip from your axle. This is 
Safety retainer, you want that off. Now hopefully, that's what I thought. She's been on there a little bit, so one second. Okay, uh, one trick to get hubs off, to get anything, you know, a, a gear um, hub off, anything like that, is you find the split, your, your bolts are loosened, right? And you're gonna take your standard uh, flathead here, and you're gonna tap in, that's going to spread this apart, so that slides off easier, and in theory, well, I didn't get it far enough, in theory, you'll be able to pop that off there. Take your, comes off there, and I lost my keyway, so that fell down there somewhere. I never claimed to be perfect, guys. <laughs> All right, now we are gonna remove okay, just two bolts to hold the top clam together there, the clam of the clam shell. Okay, we're gonna have to remove the other side too because you want everything to be able to move. Sit there on my makeshift bench. Boop, and that pops out like so. Now, this should just slide off. Now, the reason I'm even replacing this, it, it is not common to replace your bearing race. Um, the reason these are getting replaced is because these have been on, not this particular chassis, but this came off a 2017 recon. They have been on there since day one. These are brand new bearings, brand new bearings uh, beginning of last year, but the races have been around since 2017. So if we do the math, that's six years. That's probably a little long. Um, you're going to start to get some some waller and out and some movement. I mean, these are only aluminum and uh, it's not a bad idea to throw these in the tool chest and bring them along to the track just in case, you know, God forbid you break something. But uh, I like to take a rag. Obviously, do, do your best job. You can take some sort of cleaner if you want. Just wipe things off. Get all the garbage out of the uh, the track here and if you see here this is grooved so the brand new the brand new race has got a notch in it and that's gonna slide right down in there nice and nice all right okay we're going to take our uh, our bearing we I kind of like the you know if if these were offset or anything, you'd have to look at your manufacturer. It looks to be that these are centered. Um, I believe I, I took it off this way. So with the with this facing in the in the cart, I don't know that it matters. Uh, it could matter. It could not matter. I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, some people are real funny about that. And you also see on my axle here that I have lock collar here. So I I don't use the the uh, I don't screw down the bearing uh, set screws into the axle. I uh, I prefer to have my axle collars. Yes, they can move, but I, I don't know. There's there's just something about me that I, I don't like driving that down into you know driving it down into my axle, possibly ruining my axle to where when I if you know if I have to replace a hub or something like that, I don't want it to interfere with that and, and bung up the, the axle. But just my personal preference, uh, do with what you will. So we're just sliding that back on, nice and easy. Um, obviously I have to do the other side, but as for this demonstration, we're just doing the one side. Slide that back on there, obviously you take your uh, Take your top, screw that back on. All your accoutrement slides back on your your axle collar, your your uh, hub, and everything like that. And nice and simple. Uh, there, it's really nothing to it. I figured this would be a good video for you know, obviously people who've never done this stuff. It's it's not that hard of a task. Uh, I know some people aren't mechanically inclined, but it, it really there's there's not much to it. Do, you know, check your bearings when you're, you know, obviously I can't do it now because this is loose, but there should be, you know, no no wobble in these things up and down, front to back. If there is, you know, it, it's possible that your race has uh, had some damage to it. So we're going to rotate this out. 
you know, if I, I can see that, you know, this is all dirty because this is the old one. But if you're curious how I just slid that bearing in there, I guess I should point that out. Clean this off real quick. All right, there are uh, recesses here. See that and that? It won't go in like this. And this would be the same if you have an older style chassis. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see these little notches. And what you do is you take this, put it in, and you rotate. And there, it can't come out of there. And the only way to come back out would be to rotate it right there and slide back out. Obviously, you're not going to be able to pull here. You know, the, the only way it's coming out of there is by those little recesses to change your bearing. So, um, like I said, it would be like a, on an old style. It's there. There's going to be the the bearing holder, and you're going to have probably three bolts, if I remember correctly, maybe four. I, but I remember three, three bolts here. The same thing. This this is just going to be in that hub, and what you're going to want to do is rotate it. Whoop, and out comes your bearing. So that's all there is to that.